Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishol. I hope you all are doing well. So in this particular video, as you came to know from the thumbnail, that I am going to share some tips uh, before the uh, before the gate exam or uh, whatever days that is remaining. So as you all know, there are I think uh, ten days that is remain before the gate exam, and on the first week of February, gate will be finally happening, uh, and it will be conducted by IIT Kharagpur. So what you should do so many people have have this uh, this question that now what we should do for the for the next 7 days because i understand there are a lot of pressure a lot of anxiety a lot of tensions will be going on into your mind so what you should follow for this next 10 days and what you should do in this next 10 days so that you know you can be calm and composed and before the gate exam and you can go to the exam hall and give your best there so that i am going to discuss in this particular video so please do watch the video till end don't skip and before starting the video uh, as i say always that if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notification regularly now with the further ado let's get started with today's video the first thing you should do is you should stop giving mock test you shouldn't start any new subject now or you shouldn't solve any new new questions from any new new sources and you should start revising the subjects that you have uh, you know you have covered so far so whatever subject you have studied uh, just you know keep keep on revising those subjects and whatever questions you have solved so far like the previous year questions or maybe some tricky questions that you have encountered in the mock test you can revise them but you shouldn't solve any new questions or any any you know any mock test because you know whatever mind mindset that you have now whatever the anxiety tension and pressure that is there in your mind now it's not you know possible for you to solve the questions perfectly now and maybe if you even if you encounter a very easy questions now you are you may, may not be able to solve them and that will hurt your confidence maybe you you will think that Oh, oh my god i am not able to solve the easier questions then what will happen in the final final gate exam but that's not the reality you are doing the mistakes maybe the silly mistakes or you are not able to solve the easy questions because in your mind there are a lot of anxiety pressure you know fear of failure that is going on and whenever you are you are solving the questions there is always a parallel process that is going on into your mind that what will happen in the final exam uh, next week so that's why this is not the correct time to solve any new questions whatever you have studied please do revise those subjects and you know keep on you know watching uh, whatever the concept that is there all the topics that you should do now please don't solve any new questions or new mock test now because that 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 won't gain you much rather rather it will it will hurt your confidence and that will reflect in your final exam so avoid those only you know keep on revising the subjects and whatever questions you have already solved that you can do not more than that next is you have to be physically fit and mentally alert for the next 10 days for your best performance on the on the on the gate exam uh, so for that i would suggest you don't take any junk food or oily food for the next uh, 10 days try to have some healthy food uh, whatever is possible and also you know uh, for mental stability or fitness i would say that you know you should sleep lot uh, sleep a lot like around 7 to 8 hours per day and don't overstudy uh, nowadays i mean don't overstudy for the next 10 days because you know whatever you have studied that is there i mean i don't think you will you won't gain much for the next 10 days i know many people have this tendency that you know they 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 used to they used to study a lot for the last you know couple of weeks but i don't think that helps much because whatever knowledge you have gained for the last 5 to 6 months that is actually you know most important than whatever you will be learning for this next 10 days so next 10 days is just for the revision not to like you are you are remembering something or you know you are memorizing anything because you know gate is a exam where you can't do much by memorizing something you have to you know understand the basics understand the knowledge and then you have to utilize that those knowledge while solving the questions so if you if you if you if you will try to memorize something for the next 10 days that won't help much because gate won't ask you any fact based questions so they will ask they will check your knowledge and that you already have you can just revise those so that you know you can just brush up the knowledge but you know by memorizing something you can't do well in the gate exam. so try to uh, you know try to study less uh, in this next uh, 10 days and try to sleep as much as possible so that you you will be you know physically and mentally fit both and you won't feel sleepy on the gate day or exhausted on the gate day so if you if you take a proper sleep for the next 10 days that will be helpful for you uh, for the gate exam now there are few issues that has been asked by few of the students to me and i'll try to address them here so first is the i know few people asked me that you know they are not a early riser uh, by nature but their exam is on the first half so what they should do 
Now, obviously, you know, you have to wake up early on the gate exam day to appear for the exam. And for that, you have to wake up early on that particular day at least. Now, I will suggest you that, you know, start preparing uh, for that from now onwards like you know start waking up early from today itself so that you know you have a at least habit of 10 days before the actual exam day uh, because if you don't do that suddenly if you wake up on that particular day early in the morning so first of all it is difficult i hope you understand that you know being a late riser if, if suddenly someone to uh, you know tell you that you have to wake up early on a particular day it's very difficult and also if you you know if you wake up on that day also you won't be feeling good you will feel exhausted sleepy on that particular day and that's not good for your gate exam so i'll suggest you you know start waking up early early means not like five o'clock or something start waking up on seven o'clock from today onwards or maybe tomorrow onwards and you know start making it a habit for the at least for the 10 days so that you know on the gate exam day it won't be a problem for you and next is a few people told me that you know their gate exam hall is not nearby their you know their hometown or home place now what they should do obviously you don't have any choice uh, even if you have your exam on the second half but i will suggest you that reach uh, reach to the place where is your gate center one day before the gate exam so that you know you won't have any 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 travel or something on the gate day so you reach there one day before the gate exam stay there in a hotel or any 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 mess or something and stay there so that you know in on the gate gate day you can wake up early wake up wake up you know in a peace you can wake up a bit late even if you if you have your gate exam on the second half suppose so you can wake up uh, a bit late and then you can you can manage everything and then go for the uh, gate exam but if you if you if you plan to go there on the gate exam day so you have a lot of things to do in the morning before going to the uh, gate exam hall so don't do that try to reach there one day before the gate exam so that you can you can stay there you know you can manage it well everything and then you can go to the you know exam hall and give the exam now final one is related to your mental situation that you have uh, and i know every one of you who is very serious about gate you you are having a lot of pressure a lot of anxiety a lot of tension going on into your mind and most of you is is thinking now what will happen on the gate day and most importantly you are thinking that what will happen if if, if i can't uh, crack the gate this fear of failure is you know i think pretty natural also and pretty obvious to all the aspirants that is had that those are you know very serious about the gate exam you are not alone if you are thinking that i am also ha only having having this uh, fear of failure pressure and nobody else is having it's not that everyone is perfect and you are not perfect so it happens for me i i can say you that i have appeared for gate four times and it happened me every time i have appeared for the gate and it's quite natural for the last one week it's tremendous the pressure is tremendous because because you, your expectation is high you want to be in top 100 or top 50 and you want to be in IIC and IIT and th that those places are so much competitive that you know the pressure is there even if you do uh, you know two three silly mistakes your chance will be pretty lesser than if you don't do those mistakes so pressure is there pressure will be there till till you get the questions and once you get the questions pressure will be gone you will be focusing on the question paper and you will be solving the question so this pressure will be there for the next 10 days you have to deal with it so what i will suggest, suggest to you that whenever your mind is thinking of the result or thinking of the exam day consciously try to shift the focus to your preparation or to something else don't waste any time thinking of what will happen what will happen if I can't crack the gate? How the question will come? Will the paper again set by Khadapur will be a toughest paper? Um, uh, you know, will, will be a tough paper. So don't think in the, these things because these things will eventually happen. I mean, if, by thinking about these things, you can't change anything. What will happen? That will happen on, on the gate exam day. The question will come. You have to solve those questions also. Whether you will be solving it in the right way or if you do some silly mistakes and all that, that will happen on the gate exam day. Don't think of that now. Try to think positively and try to, you know, focus on the revision or whatever you are doing, like the solving, no, not actually solving. Try to focus on the revising the questions, you know, try to see the previous year question. Try to focus on that. Don't think uh, too much about, about the gate, uh, gate day or gate exam now. Try to consciously avoid uh, that thing. And also this is scientifically proven also, like, you know, people have this tendency of thinking about the exam and beyond that before the exam day. 
before before the exam uh, you know particular exam they like before one week or 10 days before the exam and it's pretty natural i mean i think you know all of you have faced this before uh, this uh, gate exam also like whenever you are appearing for your joint entrance after 12th or maybe in your 10th or 12th exams also those are also big exams and that time also you have faced similar pressure uh, of you know what will happen on the exam so this is this fear of failure is pretty natural uh, because you, because you have prepared uh, for this particular exam with high expectation you expect to you know do well in this particular exam and that's why you have a fear of failure if you are not serious of this examination you don't have the fear of failure this fear of failure is actually not bad it's there it's a pressure because you you are pretty serious about the gate exam you have a certain expectations from this gate exam so it's pretty natural try to avoid them avoid uh, this uh, as much as possible consciously whenever it's coming into your mind don't think of it rather than you know try to uh, you know distract your mind to something else like start, start start reading something or start you know watching some videos youtube videos motivational videos and all so that you know that thoughts can't you know dominate your mind so that you can you can you know make your focus away from from it but still you know it will be there uh, no need to worry about it because it will be there till you get the first question as i was saying if you see the you see the first question on your on your screen on the exam hall by that time it will be there in your mind and it will keep on increasing as the and uh, they will come and it happened with me four times so i know it very well but try to avoid it as consciously as possible and second thing is that you might be thinking that you haven't solved enough questions or you haven't solved enough you know um, you haven't covered enough topics uh, for the for the gate exam or might be you are thinking that you are forgetting a lot of things it is also one thing that happens uh, so you know in, nobody will tell you there is what is the you know kind of optimal number of questions you have to solve for the gate exam there are millions of questions that is possible uh, that you can solve and there are you know millions of topics that also you can cover but whatever you have covered whatever you have done so far try to you know be confident that with that amount of questions and that amount of topic that you have covered you will be able to solve whatever questions that you can in the final exam so that you know you can get as much as possible marks from the gate uh, gate exam as possible and if you are thinking that you are fo forgetting a too many things that is also one of the you know one of the natural instinct uh, you know all the aspirants have even i used to have in my fourth attempt when i have studied i think everything for number of times i used to also think that i am forgetting too many things so that is there that will happen with you and uh, the, the 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 reality is whenever you will be you know encountering a questions in the in the exam hall you will just focus on that particular topic so you don't have to think of how much you have covered so now what is happening is like uh, in, right now when you are thinking that i haven't covered you know everything or maybe i am forgetting too many things i am not able to remember everything because you are you are taking your whole you know syllabus as a as a whole like you are you are you are uh, like if you are a computer science student suppose so you are taking all these 10 subjects together and try to think all the topics from this 10 subject so that's why it's not possible for you to remember everything now but when you go into the exam hall you will take one topic uh, at a time one question at a time and you have to focus on one topic you will find that you are able to solve the question because you are able to focus on the particular topic so this is the actual uh, reality this is the actual science so no need to worry about the fact that i am not able to remember everything you don't need to remember everything there are only 65 question you have to solve and you have to maximum you have to focus on those 65 questions and 65 topics not even 65 maybe even lesser than that or maybe a couple of more than that so that's what you have to you have to focus on you don't need to remember everything to solve the gate question so you know try to consciously avoid these thoughts and try to revise the subject as much as possible for whatever days that is remaining and you know keep all the other things on the destiny don't think of that it will eventually happen and it's beyond your control so don't uh, don't think of those things now try to focus on the revision and do these things whatever i have i have said so that you know you can do well in the final exam yeah that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope these tips will help you to you know prepare for next uh, 10 days that is there so my final uh, uh, suggestion is please try to be physically fit and mentally alert and stable don't disturb your physical health and mental health in this uh, next 10 days try to be fit both physically and mentally so that you know you can at least reach to the gate exam in a, in a fit way so that you know you can appear for the for the gate exam uh, perfectly 
and let's uh, let's see what is happened let's be positive and hope for the best so that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope you like the video and if you like the videos please like it and share it with other people so that they also get to know about it and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly so that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye